Now let's start with the structures of atom. Um, if you still remember, this is illustrations of an atom, and in an atom there are a nucleus consists of uh, protons and neutrons, and it containing almost all the mass of the atoms. So every atom has a nucleus, and inside the nucleus we have protons and neutrons, and there are electrons which move around the nucleus inside uh, the shell called electron shells. The nucleus become unstable if it has too many protons or too many neutrons or too much energy. The protons and neutrons need to be in certain ratio. Okay, if too many protons, then it's not stable. Too many neutrons, not stable. But sometimes even too much energy inside the nucleus also is not stable. And when it's not stable, it will try to release something to make itself to become stable and that is uh, called the uh, radioactivity okay and this process will produce some radiations and that radiation is called the radioactive radiation so the unstable nucleus will decay to release radioactive radiation examples of radioisotope now this is important because in exam especially in objective questions they will give you a list of uh, elements and they will ask you which of these elements are radioisotopes. Radioisotopes are the isotopes of an elements that will release uh, radioactive uh, radiations. Okay. Now here is a list of a few famous uh, radioisotopes that you must know in uh, SBM syllabus. The first one is carbon-14. Uh, carbon-14 is the radioisotopes that we use in carbon dating. And carbon dating is a technology that we use to estimate the age of something uh, in archaeology. Okay, let's say you found a piece of wood and then uh, we can use carbon datings to tell how old uh, is this wood. Is uh, 1,000 years old or 2,000 years old, okay? Uh, the second one is cobalt-60. This is used in radiotherapy to cure cancer. So it's uh, radioisotopes. And then we have uranium-235 and plutonium-239. These two are nuclear fuel, which is used in nuclear plants to produce electric cities. Okay, so these are the substances that we use to produce nuclear energy. And these are the substance that use in uh, nuclear energy plants to generate electricity and uh, we also have uranium-238 and plutonium-238 which has little use but you also need to know there are radioisotopes huh? so make sure that you remember the name of these radioisotopes because uh, this may be asked in your test or exam